Luca has broken his contract multiple times. I think we have a video here of a lawyer going through it. There's been so many things going on in the VTuber space as well. I'm kind of excited to look into that. I've been taking a break for two days to so just see all of that's been going on. I just... Can he be fired? That. that is the question being asked regarding Niji Sanji English. Is can Luca get fired? He can, but if they keep a racist in their company all the time, do you think they're going to fire Luca? Nah. Luca Kaneshiro. Still now, days later, stuck with his April Fool's name of Lucy Kaneshiro. Earlier today, tweeting out, Twitter, let me change my profile back. Luca I love that he's just talking about stuff like nothing is happening. He's completely ignoring it. <laughs> others in Niji Sanji gender bending themselves on April Fool's Day, such as Belmont Bandaris. Luca also being the subject of an extensive document detailing his past and present problematic behavior. This document now being reviewed on stream by legal mindset wow. originally questioning if luca is a liability i love this thumbnail what is this <laughs> oh wait hold up oh, hold up a moment <laughs> And then pointing out nearly a dozen points found throughout this document that due to the recently revealed Niji Sanji contract, these points potentially indicating that Luca is in danger of termination. Ooh. So she's already doing work here. This is a problem for Niji Sanji. So already this is a violation of the Niji Sanji contract. What does the Niji Sanji contract say, guys? Guys, what does it say? No it says fuck him that that's what that i'm gonna tell you right now how the the niji sanji contract goes it says fuck him that's that's what it does fuck the talent fuck the audience fuck him contract. <laughs> holy shit no subcontract which you want no subcontract no subcontract you guys got it you guys got it you need permission you need permission he did not get permission he already was in violation from that, from the contract. From mm. that, they could fire him. The fact that this happened as a result of moderating a Niji Sanji stream, could that potentially have blowback on Niji Sanji? Yes. Is it likely to incur massive legal liability? Maybe. If there was a death threat and they actually went through on trying to harm somebody, right? and they went through with that, that could come back on Niji Sanji. We're talking about the law here, guys. Once again, we're talking about the law. Legally, this could come back on them because they have some duty to control. He would use against the, mod the modeler's rules a password protective MMD model of Luca in VR chat if we did ever hang out in VR chat. He would go undercover in the Niji Sanji Express train world sell and made, and eventually in the Luxium VRC chat world to interact with fans and even reveal he was Luca in disguise. Mm. Raziel says, it's not your model anyway. You can ask permission from that person. One BU says, you don't understand. I shouldn't even be using it because the company makes us one. Yes. So, so it's company property. Yeah. Unauthorized use mm. of the character. He could be fired right then and there. For I know this guy. This guy. The contract. So we have yet another way he should be fired. It's against the it's against the contract. Ooh. So this right here is against the Niji Ooh. Sanji contract. Another reason. This is just using the model. He should be fired for that. He should be fired for that second one. I mean, in this post right here that Arazil posted, there's like so many reasons to fire Luca. Right? There's just way too many things. He did so much crazy stuff. Like, it's not enough the fact that his rep is kind of ruined with all the weird stuff he did. He also broke the contract many, many times and he scammed his audience. Because since it's like he's selling products with autograph made by him, but in reality it was made by somebody else. Notice, by the way, notice it's by fraud. The way, guys, a lot of the issues. Company don't want to have that. They're not drama. These are contractual violations. Yeah. Uh, during during his streams, he would play copyrighted music. Well, that's a problem. He found a random YouTube playlist of copyright free music and did not vet it. That's a violation. And he was in the habit of asking for forgiveness later instead of permission. Well, that's also something they could fire him for. I was paid in cash. He's a bad for boy, though. Everything I if did he earns Niji a lot of money right now, they should I, keep him, to be honest. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess.
<laughs> I feel like they'll keep him. Like, I, I feel like they don't give a shit. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think... Like, I feel like there has to be... If you are nice to the management, they don't care. But if you tell the management, I, I, I'm feeling bad, they will hate you for the rest of their your career. I tried to make a simple contract with Luca, and he wanted to pay me a monthly salary to be more or less his assistant and work with him, in which he denied the contract and would not allow me to send invoices because it's not permissible mm. under the contract. Exactly. There shouldn't be a paper trail because he'll get in trouble for it. Niji Sanji would fire him for subcontracting. He's not allowed to subcontract. See, payment received. Happy birthday. Commission, commission, commission. commission, commission. So you've got a paper trail in uh in paypal that's pretty damning there this evidence is pretty damning so in 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 terms of evidence when you've got it coming from luca kanashiro that's pretty damning i was on luca's account while it was late for him and he was asleep but i logged off instead so no one knew it was me in the account because i wasn't supposed to be using his company minecraft account as he told me he could be terminated if anybody else knew that indeed is the truth he really for plays around the alone, cliff edges huh? using his company account termination each one of these things he's doing here or rather raziel was doing is a violation of himself and a reason to fire luca each single one each instance by itself is enough to be fired one million subscribers handwritten note so literally this is great so they're they're literally misrepresenting a product see Ooh. now we have a bigger claim so niji this is sanji, the scam Ooh, the fraud niji sanji is selling these right these are sold or rather given away as benefits whatever they're sold yeah niji sanji is either selling or giving away this merch they are false advertising mm -hmm. this is fraudulent yep advertising. And I think that is the biggest, baddest claim in this whole post, even though a lot of it is weird and psycho and manipulative and again, super weird. I think this is the one that could really cause them issues. They are selling a product or giving away a product in a deceptive manner, claiming it is the handwriting of the talent when in fact it is actually her. The dinner was basically uh, we want to support everything you guys do. If you have any complaints, let me know. They don't actually want to hear it. They don't actually want to hear it. They say that to save themselves face because a lot some black companies in Korea and black companies in Japan, once again, there are good Korean companies. And there are good Japanese companies. Let me be very clear. There are good companies in Korean Japan. But oftentimes, many of the companies, especially companies, they want to pretend they're good companies. They want to LARP as a good company. So what they do is they do things that good companies do on their face. They say, oh, look, we had a form where you can submit complaints, but yet magically nobody submits complaints. Magically, there's zero complaints. Oh, yes, you can tell us, but anybody who tells is going to be fired. Okay, so let's get down. By the way, disclosing a lot of this information, disclosing a lot of this information could be violative of an NDA. And could also be a reason to fire Luca. Now, what she showed is damning enough. We have enough proof in the Discord messages to fire on its own, just from those contractual breaches, even the subcontracting. Uh, Gravity Cat says, could another liver go after him if you sent a picture of them to her without their permission? Maybe, yes. That could violate uh, non disclosure, yes. Yes, so by taking a photo of another liver, remember, the contract covers the liver. So if they took a picture of the pilot and sent it, yeah, that could be a violation of the contract as well. The guys, there's at least two dozen violations of the contract in there, at minimum. Niji Sanji has a lot to say there. Many they, they are hand... The problem is that it's not even... Yeah, Luca has done a lot of bad, but the problem is even their management don't even know what's right. Like, they have if if somebody that know what's going on all right somebody that understand this whole field and laws and what they can do and what they can they can't do if they knew exactly what's going on within the jisanji i think they they would they would probably put down a file of documents 
were many, 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 many pages of things that are they are illegally doing or something that it can legally hurt them in itself. Like Niji Sanji is, uh, it seems that they are ran by people that have zero clue on anything. ...that Luca will not be terminated due to favoritism, leading to its own problem for Niji Sanji. Mm. And one thing I'm going to say real quick here is there's a lot of legal issues here, but at the same time, guys, like there's enough for Niji Sanji to file, uh, to fire Luca. Luca could be fired easily based on this, based on my understanding of the contract, my reading of the contract in English. They could fire Luca. They could easily fire Luca. Will they? Probably not. No. Right now. They got too much to deal with. Their stock is tanking. But they could. Yeah, they and are. Unfair, they're bleeding. It's unjust that they would fire other people, punish other people, but not fire Luca. It's a mm -hmm. it's a it's a injustice. Yeah, but you can't get them to enforce their own contract. You can't force them to do that. Although, you could what is have he thinking? Full discrimination lawsuit. Wait, what did he say? Contract. You can't force them to do that. Although. You could have a sexual discrimination lawsuit. Oh, he censored it. Discrimination? Although, in America, this could be a discrimination lawsuit because, hear me out here, hear me out here, they're firing the female talent for much less, mm -hmm. but they're allowing the male talent to get away with her. I see where he is going. He's not wrong. I mean, this is... This is not wrong at all. Uki. Luca. Doc Sakuma for... You are right! All of the male ones have done crazy shit. I still am not amazed that Uki's there. Like, oh my god. While we're out of here. People are getting away with murder. The guys are getting away with murder. But the girls? The girls mm. are the first thing. The ladies They're are the out. first thing. We might just have. We might just have. A wrongful termination case here. For the folks that were fired. Gender-based discrimination. Legal Mindset during the stream also revealing his new connection to the VTuber agency, Idol. Agencies have a choice to be bad or good. And I actually have, before I do this, I have a little bit of an announcement. I have a little bit of an announcement before I do this. Agencies can be bad and good. A lot of people think I'm like so anti-agency or anti-corporation. I am not. I am anti-bad corporations. And so I can officially announce this. I can say this as of today because it is official now. I, I want to say too, I'm going to be real. I'm also like, I think that being behind a corporation is like great if they work to develop like a better, a better workflow for you and just to enhance the talents themselves. But there's a lot of corporation out there just that don't know anything and they cause us more issues like than good. And those are the ones that are bad. And whenever you see in the like VTuber corporations and VTuber groups and stuff like that, most of the time I'm gonna be real. I look at them and I'm like, damn, I don't want to be. I don't want to be anywhere near that. That looks awful. I and you're gonna hear a lot about this in the future. There's gonna be a separate stream, and I'm gonna be talking about it. But I hmm. am officially working with Idol Corporation to rewrite their contract. And I'm working from the perspective of representing the uh, the VTubers' interests. So I am working with them. They have paid me money to work with them to write a contract that is going to be, I hope, the golden standard of all contracts for VTubers in the entire industry. I just had a conversation yesterday with their CEO I hope what we can create will be a template which can serve as a template for all VTuber agencies out there. I would not work with Idol unless I did, I thought they were ideologically committed to the best interests of the uh, of the of the talent, and I am absolutely convinced of that after having a conversation with their CEO. So Idol Corporation already um, set the standard when they released how much they pay people. 
And when they released that information, other agencies actually had to evaluate what they were doing and reevaluate their standards. And what we have is we have a problem where these Japanese companies are trying to force Japanese law mm -hmm. on even non-Japanese companies and agencies. I think exactly. a lot of agencies that are Western agencies, they look at the Kurosanji contract and they want to copy that. Well, that's not right. That's not good. And that's not in the best interest of the talent. Of course, I do not have final say on it, so I'm going to submit my comments, but they can choose to reject my comments or accept my comments. Idol CEO and founder further confirming this this morning, saying we're excited to collaborate with The Legal Mindset to enhance our talent contracts. Upon completion, we will release the contract publicly and offer it to both existing and new talents. Idol EN's Nikki Ray remarking, oh damn, I like him. Idol CEO confirming further, our law firm is the one that wrote and will revisit the contract. Legal Mindset will only provide an additional layer of feedback on how we can improve it from the talent side. Legal Mindset Mindset also snapshotting this moment when the any color incorporated doesn't that look great isn't that isn't that something huh look at that damn um, damn 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 that is something boys that is something like you see that you see that Ooh, whoop. Ooh, whoop. <laughs> Stock oh, dove below 2,400 yen. This being the lowest number in a year for this particular stock, stating even market intervention can't save Niji Sanji. The growth is in the English market, and they have openly waged war on it. That as evidenced on VTStats.jp, while Hall Live as a whole grew 13%, Niji Sanji wow. as a whole dropped by 11%. These stats based on total watch time, Hall Live English jumping up by an astounding 91%, and Niji Sanji English dropping by 60% in watch time hours. This all while numerous Niji Sanji English accounts per their YouTube subscriber numbers are still either stagnant or losing subscribers. Luka Kenoshiro in the past seven days losing the most out of all of the active talents, dropping down by 10,000 subscribers. And talk about timing. As last night- Only losing 10,000 subscribers in this controversy is actually not that bad like if you he only lost ten thousand, that is like not that big of a hit and you would assume right niji sanji <laughs> english sent out this luka kenashiro birthday goods and voice 2024 announcement announcing quote birthday goods all set quote acrylic photo frame set quote voice and quote badge set will soon be on sale to celebrate luka kenashiro's upcoming birthday those mm. sales set to start on april 9th one user remarking notice they changed the little signature on the end of the charm and button they really did acknowledge that the first one was never his folks left is 2023 while right is 2024. Further then, showing off these signatures, as former Luka Kenoshiro moderator Raziel Warmonic would show this. No, they don't. Which one was... I think I... I don't remember who said it, but um, I remember some YouTube comments said it once that Niji Sanji fans don't even realize that the, the, the Niji Sanji fans don't realize and the same do, do the talents... They don't realize that they're just fans of Niji Sanji. They don't care about the talents. They don't care about the product. They don't care about what they create. It's all about Niji Sanji fans are only care. They're, they are fans of the company. And I think that is the worst thing of it all. Because it doesn't matter what the talent does. It doesn't matter if the talent leave. There's a lot of people that love the talent. And watches only the talent. But there's an even larger uh, amount of people that are there because of the company, which kind of sucks. The Niji Sanji manager signature, which one was her signature for the birthday 2023 goods, stating that the biggest difference between hers and the manager's is the L's tail connecting the A or not. And now showing this new unknown signature, stating I have never seen the birthday 2024 merch or signature before, so I cannot confirm or deny who wrote it. Adding in the tweet, I've had a couple of people asking me if I did the signature for Luka Kenoshiro's 2024 birthday merch. I did not. I hope the picture below helps with 
with identifying who did what signature cheers. And speaking of merchandise, here we have this user saying, so I got news that a merch order that was supposed to reach me at least almost a year and a half didn't arrive and asked for a refund. We got a no from them now because it's so long ago. Like bro, I asked you guys, when can I get it? And you said, wait a little bit more. This <laughs> user confirming this is regarding Niji Sanji, giving this update two weeks later with, wow, thanks Niji, I guess. Receiving this rejection from- I'm gonna be real. If you don't get a, if you order a product, like I get it if it's being prepared, right? But if you're ordering a product and it takes five months, even three months of time, like if it's being made and they, they have told you they were making it and then we're sending it out, then longer than three months is fine, but five months max. But if you don't get a product by that time, by that time I'd just get a refund. Like this is nuts. Like if you're going to wait more than five months to get an, a, like a, a product, then that product probably doesn't exist. Probably hasn't existed for four months, five months. Probably not going to exist in a year. These things, th this just sounds wild. PayPal for that refund, stating that cases must be filed within 180 days from the date of the trans. Yeah, and also remember if um, if you try to get a refund from them directly, they're not giving it to you. Talk to your bank. If you have a, if PayPal says you can't get a refund, and you have a card connected and you pay through that card, talk to that bank. That bank will definitely get you the money back. It's action. This PayPal user is saying does it further too, in reply, but I need to wait for them to send it out around the end of 2022 to know anything and ask them around the start of 2023. And they said to wait and they didn't reply until October of 2023. So how do I even know that they are dragging out the deadline? And further now with Niji Sanji English, we have Kotoka Torihime. Nearly seven weeks ago, tweeting out apologies for the silence. Mm. I saw a doctor recently and what they diagnosed me with really proved to me that I need to time to mentally heal i'll still upload songs since those are what keep my mind off things but streams will only happen when i'm well thanks for understanding could get his last stream occurring eight weeks ago with reddit users now stating that per her membership vods they all at this time have been made private and lastly today with niji sanji english we have fulgur ovid here as dog ovid as here he can be seen uh what the fuck Huh. All right, and next up today, we have Made Yikes. Mint, aka Mint Phantom, a ghost VTuber, formerly Niji Sanji English's Pomo Rain Puff, showing this photo of herself, a ghost VTuber, formerly Niji Niji Sanji English's Pomo Rain Puff showing this photo of herself and saying my real reaction these past few days Lou She's is great. remarking I think I, love I have her. a She's type great. as Made Men is promising a return to streaming as an indie VTuber on I watched her podcast recently dude she is great April 4th saying see you Thursday once again I'll that stream set more for 7 p.m. Eastern 4 p.m. Pacific this all while Made Men's YouTube channel is rocketing up yep. to 100,000 subscribers bringing us over to V Shoujo's Matra Khan tweeting out Good morning, Momos. Can we help Mint get to 100,000 before her stream in 13 hours? This tweet being a little bit premature, saying, oops, but still, please follow her. I just woke up. Matara later finding time to tweet out such important messages as live, laugh, lactate. lactate. This has Mint and Matara are sharing their own YouTube channel, that yeah. being for their summer special podcast series. First episode now hitting 100,000 views. Matara saying, what a nice surprise as we're about to sit down and record episode two. Usan replying to to that with person gesturing okay. Matara further confirming her thorax is in bio. And upon seeing this artwork, that by way of Kazurai asking 3 p.m. Eastern on Monday, sorry, I have plans with a roach and a ghost. Matara replying every Monday, baby, it's a date. Further sharing this artwork from Kami Noodles and asking spot the difference, along with also seeing this artwork of uh, she's pregnant. pregnant. Matara replying, I hope wow. she doesn't see this because then I'll have to explain how Momos are born and she can't die yet. Mint replying to Matara, I only saw this because of you responding. Vishojo's Kuro also saying, Tara, I really cannot believe you put this on my timeline. And Matara finally replying, Kuro, I apologize. I'm this in my why villain I drink. era. <laughs> As there's loads of more artwork due to this return, including this piece from oh, Legion is the VTuber or... scene? The VTuber scene, we are, they are we are not. Some of you real as a lie. That's why people like us though. Because like, oh, we, the the next VTuber con is gonna be the psych ward. Because fuck me, dude, we're 
There's so much dumb shit, and I love it. People are just having a good time talking nonsense. Justin, one of Main Man's most You're the only famous YouTuber covers. I love from you, dude. Getting Thank that you, man. Double follow. As here, also we have Toma May giving us this barista made mint work in progress. Mint replying, Toma, oh my god, you were the first artist I ever commissioned so long ago. I can't believe you remember me. I have a full rush of nostalgia hitting Aww. me right now. Savi nice. also getting that They're mint also made super follow sweet, though. along with a feat account. Saying at first I was just happy about my Oshu follow. Me, but then I realized it was a whole package. Mint replying, Ooh. I hope Feet Man follows me someday too. The Roche and the Maid seen here and this work from Krom, alongside other pieces like from Squish, remarking returns a small. That is, we also have Unfamous Radish with the and beyond with Aperture in this work entitled Summer Special. Matara loving that piece and also getting that follow from Maid Mint. While we also have this colorful work of the duo from Sumi. And just for Matara, we have this cosplay by Hiri, the most wow. beautiful. Wow. Cockroach offering up this high honey and apologies we can't scroll down due to YouTube.com terms creative. of service. Matara recently busy a lot of with an interview I love about regarding the Warhammer scene. and other gaming. Gaming I'm alongside like the likes light, of, but a lot of things I like. and Quinn. While today gaming alongside a gaming alongside the likes. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. I'm gonna tell you right now, these two girls here and a couple other girls like in the YouTuber scene. Dude, what I do to just play a game with them they are so funny like they are and they, like by themselves they're funny but together they are wild beings and i they are so, this so Yumi inspirational Yuzu and quinn well today game so inspirational another Holy. member of these shoujo that being haruka caribou who matra earlier had described as this haruka gives you big married woman energy really why i i, I think haruka gives extremely like aromantic energy a romantic, a unmarried. I I don't. Maybe maybe you see Haruka differently than I see Haruka. Anybody who tells everybody that they are their wives has no. I don't remember wives. when I played this game. If somebody tells you I they got a lot I of, I played this game. They have zero. Bits. That was a good and time. And Haruka is constantly telling you how many bits she has. Next up, we have V Shoujo's Henya. Now teaming up with the Ofkai Expo, a VTuber centric convention set to be held May 31st through June 2nd. Announcing, get your Hi. Crocs ready. Henya the Genius is bringing her IQ Henya. 999 moves to Ofkai Gen 3. Listen to the sweetest kettle noises from May 31st to June 2nd. This coming after yesterday's announcement that both Matara Khan and Mint will also be joining this event. Matara adding Mint and saying, you can meet your Kami Oshi. Yeah? Wait, I, uh, I just launched a podcast with this random, like, ghost that I summoned, and you're her Kamiyoshi. Yeah, I know I am. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know I am. <laughs> Damn. And you're also giving us important <laughs> tweets like feet alongside this squid. Then a while Ghost City has produced this Henya the Genius Kyofu All Back cover featuring numerous V Shoujo talents, including Iron Mouse. Seen together with Henya here in this work from Ammo entitled I Grew a Little Taller. Mouse tweeting out, Wake up, it's a new model debut starting now. FB saying, I helped So Iron many Mouse anime cons are basically outfit. anime and VTuber cons. I think. I think VTubers are the greatest thing that has ever occurred to anime cons. I think this is like, it's one of the greatest thing ever to happen to them. Because now they have more attention and more things to put into that that will make it interesting and unique to go for. Because like before, like usually you just go there and you see people create art. And you meet people that are like anime. And that's pretty much it. But now you have, now there's more going on. Now we have people playing games. You have VTubers showing up to say hi to their fans and stuff like that. You have actual VTuber going there in real life and hanging out at meeting and stuff like that, bringing all their fans. It's been, it's great for the cons. It's amazing. And I think we're seeing more cons than usual. Personally, I feel like I'm hearing about more cons than ever. We came up with this idea with a traditional Puerto Rican spin. No, Model is absolutely gorgeous. Click draws and Kevin Art improved fun. the design so much. Check that them below. Fun. Click draws here with I had the honor to make. I Iron love Mouse's that Puerto model. Rican dress slash pudding model. I truly gave my best and thank you so much for the opportunity. This guy right here makes the best fucking body pillows in the entire industry. This guy, girl, I don't know them. They are making insane models. Like all of their body pillows are like the most sold. 
freaking dress slash pudding model. I truly gave my best, and thank They're you so the much for the They're from the VR chat community. Also How do you know? Because I'm from the VR duty. chat community. They're from the... They, they worked with everyone in the Rufflegator group, so I know them. Uh, and if you don't know, I used to play with a lot of people from Rufflegator group. That's why. Body pillow artwork that, once again, we can't fully yeah. show on YouTube.com. Techie here now with her very own Iron Mouse artwork. Well, here, Kevin X is showing off the That's new how they model, started, basically, complete with too, mouse think. ears and loads of toggles. And along with that, we have this almost Lisa Frank-esque background. Ooh, Amita saying thanks so much to V-Shoujo and Iron Mouse for the wonderful opportunity to work on the super sweet and magical pink beach background dude, for the new model. Dude, that seeing this makes me jealous. I want to... I can't wait the day I can go and commission like a, a starting soon screen and BRB and all of these things. Like I, I, I don't know. Like these small things like this makes me so excited. I don't know. This, it's just so good. This so while Mouse is back in the swing of things <gasps> with Speak Ross? of the Devil. Soon set to host I gotta the watch 25th that. episode alongside Rubber Ross. That episode set for this Saturday, April 6th at 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Further along, we also have this from the Immune Deficiency Foundation saying we're so excited to hear these speakers and yes your eyes do not deceive you there is mouse looking zooted out of her mind mouse <laughs> reacting with anime girl jump scare i am honored to be a part of this and further stating this on stream uh i don't know if you guys noticed <coughs> this is my favorite the mouse 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 mouse. foundation tweeting so good. that there is going to be a primary immunodeficiency conference and your girl is gonna be there as a key let's speaker. go and it has a picture of Four keynote speakers, and all I have to say is one of these things do not look like the other anime girl jump scare. Ah, and I'm just like, I wonder what these people think when they see. They're probably. <laughs> I've wonder... seen normal people react to my VTuber model. They're like, what the fuck is this shit? People are gonna be not sure what's going on. They're probably gonna think it's animated. And somebody voiced it. They're not gonna think you're a VTuber. They're gonna th they're gonna be very confused what this is. Like that's just how uh, they don't they know think? about this stuff, man. See my picture there, be like, what the? F what is happening? <laughs> what is going on? You, everybody, these people have like PhD, MD. They're all like PhD, MD, and <laughs> Iron Mouse. No PhD, no MD. Not only that, why'd they have to pick that picture of me? Why'd they pick <laughs> that picture of me where I look high as f And I'm just like, yeah. I just look like I'm so done with everything. That was like peak, that was like peak Subadon when it, I was just like dying. Let's next week quickly check in with the Mexican chili well, That's the great thing about being a VTuber. If you look like you're dying, it doesn't really, people can't really see it that much. It's Punk Macaroni showing off her own Wonderland Rejects cosplay. Saying hello, new Iron Mouse cosplay just dropped. It is. And we're seeing back it's from Mouse. Good, uh, uh, perfect, show, you look amazing. Oh, while well, Streams Charts has this tweet, dive into Iron Mouse's streaming journey in quarter one of 2024. Queen still being slaying. The 79th biggest streamer on the Twitch. Queen is still the slaying and dominating the market. I love it. The peak viewership of over 33,000 viewers. Mouse being the yeah. ninth most watched female streamer in Hell February yeah. on Twitch. And then the first most watched female streamer in March. As for both of those months, at number eight was V Shoujo Zentrea. Today, tweeting out, I'm surrounded by people who drive me crazy and make me smile every day, even when life is fighting against me. I couldn't have asked for anything better than being surrounded by amazing friends and an amazing community. Oh, Surround nice. yourself with people who love you for you. Zentrea for April full showing off this maid outfit later saying hope you had a rockin day but while further teasing this live 2d work by uni alongside her most advanced model yet feeling pretty toasty that's right toaster zen is back with a vengeance zen after saying that's right the toaster is not the big news the big news is we are dropping a new plushie not just a plushie a jumbo plushie a giant gecko dino plushie perfect for those cozy nights or conventions zen just 15 minutes later saying and just like that it is fully fun Thank you so much for your support and super excited to get this to you all. And further sharing, I just got the most crazy news yesterday. I can't say anything about what it is, but another one of my goals has been achieved and I am excited for you all. That is back with V Shoujo. They would point this at us. That's right, it's Hime Hajime's new look. Iron Vertex's Akatsuki Enma saying Mafia Hime VTuber I show like reel that. is here. The base model coming by way of fruit and the Mafia outfit by way of Enma. In addition, Daryl Vanessa Barnes would offer 
offer up The God Mommy, saying I compose Hime Hajime's mafia background music, big band piece with big brass. Fun fact, classical guitar slash strings part at the one minute mark is a homage to The Godfather. Hime also being a part of this announcement, Infinity Key saying V Shoujo Collection Part 2 with Heisan, Hime, and Fruit is on Thursday, audience? April 4th for <laughs> the full collection viewer. reveal and sign up to be notified during launch. And today we're also checking back in with Hall Live, this time now with Hall Live Japan's Hime Mori Luna. Not only celebrating her birthday with a concert so as cute. reported yesterday, so but also now yesterday releasing a brand new cover song in celebration of 1 million YouTube subscribers. Saying, Let's the best go. princess in the world, I have 1 million subscribers on my channel. Please listen to this cover song a lot. Luna now being the 41st member of Hall Live to hit that 1 million YouTube subscriber milestone, as now all five members of Hall Live Gen 4 have also hit that mark. And further with Hall Live Japan, we're back with Usada Pakora now retweeting artwork as Mama Peko has taken Twitter by storm. Numerous pieces do? of artwork not only receiving thousands, but tens of thousands of likes, including this piece from Kuma Daigoro, alongside this piece from Ungi, and Pakora even retweeting this one from Peppa. That's not all, as we also have works from Shiho Ashikawa, Shuzo, Hockeyman giving us this Peko mommy. And she was daughter, live, that's alongside it, her mom. More from New Feeling. Pakora Let's go. Also retweeting this keen biscuit young Peko mama work. As lastly, Das Doctor is, her mom is just as insane. on the mommy energy here with Hollow Moms helping you sleep. We're also once again back with her mom got her own model. That's sick. On April Fool's, making That's a flashback stream entitled Minecraft underscore Monday dot WMV. This stream in 4x3 at only 480p and Fauna talking through an Xbox mic. As now we have oh, Yorono saying Fauna's April Fool stream but edited in Windows Movie Maker 2.6, it crashed every two minutes. And actually showing off the legitimate proof here. Hello, Avin Shiori Novella saying my favorite unregistered Hypercam 2 streamer over here. As after series would say, thanks for watching XD. Next time I will be tag Minecraft for reels. Hero Brian <laughs> sucks. Fauna is the best. As also uh, taking us back here is Ant Splora. Oh, I remember this game. game. This game fucking, this game scared the hell out of me as a kid. I remember this shit. Remember that? Oh, you don't want to hit those walls. You don't want to hit those part walls. One alongside this Hoseno work, stating hope Hero Breen doesn't get her lols. And lastly, we have so with this drawing doesn't encapsulate what just happened. Very, very, very quickly. Also, we have Fuamoko, twin demonic guard dog. My favorite. Advent, saying most VTubers don't even sneeze once a stream, but Moko Chan is here sneezing nine times in his single collab. Bow bow. Adding, she sneezed five bow, times bow. before the collab while we were all preparing too all right we have left the tutorial <laughs> mode <laughs> oh yeah oh my, my god, god. Use you to dishwash them. <laughs> all right i'm just gonna here for your your cucumber bless you it's fine bless okay, you. Okay, there you go <laughs> so you need bless, bless you bless you bless you rubber buns and plates <laughs> what is going on <laughs> allergy season <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 We're gonna make it out of Feels like Mario. Side of Hearts here also with Fuwamoko and Leotards. Oh, here today, Fuwamoko is saying it's Big officially Callie Senpai's Fruit. birthday and we can't wait until she her kills me. birthday 3D Live later. Bow, bow. That's right, it's Hall Live more. English's Mori Calliope giving these Not birthday well wishes from Hall Live Production English alongside this happy birthday Kali artwork by way of Kamiyama Neki. This concert set for tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. Hall Live English's Orocrony remarking, attend her birthday or else I'm going to cry. Callie earlier streaming a call-ins and countdown stream for her birthday. And during showing off that her pupils can now turn into hearts. Or a crony remarking of that stream, I missed the call-in. I'm not going to make it. I'm KMS. Shiori Novella sharing she forgot. That's right. The Warden of Time was late. Or a crony after stream saying her happy birthday to Callie. As here we have this work from Daku asking crony, where is your call? As that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord I as we'll have crazy. more things VTubers say for you soon. That was so nice, dude. I actually like these videos hey, a we lot. Have left the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, your, your cucumber? <laughs> <laughs> so you need probably more meat. That's 
and play. That's so and cute. Play. I love these okay. videos a lot, dude. I think these videos are great because it's like it gives me a lot of things that's going on. It's a great topic thing to talk about and see what's going on in the space. They're so sweet. I'm very new to this channel. I've known of this guy for ages, but I've been very new to the channel. But overall, this is very great. I, I want to watch more of them in the future for sure. It's so nice. I'm glad this channel exists.